What I'm looking at here is conditional formatting. The way to do this is to first highlight what you want to look at. I'm going to look at these. All right. I go up to Format, click on Conditional Formatting, and this comes up. I'll put it down here. Now, I'm looking at the basic working week, and I'm suggesting that the basic working week is 37 hours. So I'm looking now at anything less than 37. I'll format it by saying the font is going to be bold and black. The pattern is going to be blue. OK, so there you are. If the number is less than 37, it'll come up as that. OK, if I OK, there it is. If I click off, there you are. These are less than 37. Now if I say, alright, what I want now, I want to highlight there. I want to add more conditions to my conditional formatting. And this time I'll go up to Format. Conditional formatting, and I've already d done one there. So I'm going to add another condition. I'll lift it up and I'll say between what am I going for between um, 36 and 38 I'll format it again right the last one was blue let's take this as being green in pattern and again black in font and make it bold. If I do that and OK that, then you see I've got two there coming up there. Now I'll do it the last time. I'll highlight it, go to Format and Conditional Formatting, lift this up and add. And this time I'm going to say greater than and there I'm going to say 38. OK, again, click on the format, choose bold, and this time I'll choose white, and then the patterns, I'll choose red as my sample pattern. OK, I've done that. So if I OK that, there's the look of it, and there. There's the result. So. If I had a huge list in Excel, I would be able to select particular colours which would show up workers who worked either less than 37 hours a week or more than that. This would be quite useful in some office work. Thank you.